Divine Feminine, hello. So y'all know how we do it here, situation, action, outcome. Divine Feminine, what I'm hearing from you is chakras. There's something about your chakras that needs to be balanced in order for you to keep the faith, to keep going in this partnership. It's like the, the further and further, like the longer and longer the separation is, the more you doubt that your person is even making the effort, that they're even, you know, trying here, okay? Because they haven't reached out, because they don't know what to say, they don't know how to talk to you, they don't know what to say. What's the situation with Divine Feminine here? Refusing to see. Y'all got the same situation. Y'all, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, y'all need to keep the faith. Your eyes are down because you're feeling down, but you need to keep your head up and think about this, okay? Your person is making the effort. They're, they're coming in, okay? But you just gotta have that faith. And I know it's getting harder and harder. I'm hearing harder and harder each day, especially when you feel the energy that I'm feeling from your Divine Masculine, which is don't leave me. I mean, they don't want you to leave. They don't want you to leave them behind at all. What's the action here for Divine Feminine? Giving and receiving. So it's something about you keep keeping up with your efforts in your service, okay? Don't forget that. That is so interesting too. Don't forget that your purpose is to serve the world. It's a world contribution somewhere with you and Divine Masculine. So you gotta figure out what your niche is. And as you give back to the world and the universe, so does it come back to you? What goes around comes around. So you got to pick your head up and remember that sometimes people need a little bit more love, you know what I'm saying, and for the world. Not only do you need the love for yourself, but the, the love of the world. I'm hearing something like a uh, nutritionist. I'm hearing something like dedication to a book, poetry. Uh, somebody needs to hear your voice and what you have to offer. And that's so funny because I'm just like stumbling over my words a little bit because I'm just seeing that it's something that you have within you that the world needs. Okay, Divine Feminine, what's the outcome? What's the outcome here? Heal, oh my gosh. And I'm hearing share your healing. It's been tough, it's been hard. And that's why Divine Masculine feels left behind because you've been breaking chains right and left. Even on days, I'm hearing hard days. I don't know why I'm hearing that song, Nice For Nothing by Drake, where he's like, you know hard dog days, you know hard times. Uh, yeah, work at Eddie them. Yeah, come on now, because you've been healing throughout all of this, and it's been the hardest thing for you is to heal yourself in love and to find that those healing places and to find your soul family is what I'm hearing for you, Divine Feminine. So you've been healing. And now it's time to give back that healing, that love. And you, you're not seeing that you've been healing because you're like, oh, but I'm still in longing for my person. That's because they don't want to be left behind either. Their energy is still very much so attached to you, okay? Bottom of the deck energy, the hidden energy. Y'all are <laughs> divine masculine and divine feminine right now. And I'm so glad I came on today. Y'all are like this right now today. Like y'all are feeling the same loneliness. Sadness and isolation is your hidden energy. Their hidden energy is dedicated effort, so they're working behind the scenes, but their outcome is that they're still feeling lonely. No matter how much they pick up a shift at work, no matter what they do, they're still feeling your touch. They don't want you to leave their life. And Divine Feminine, your outcome is that you've been healing and you're sharing to the world that healing that you have, but your, your hidden energy is that you're feeling low-key lonely, okay? Y'all's situation is the same though, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine has the same situation, refusing to see. And that's important because that means y'all are on the same wavelength. I shuffle these cards behind the scenes before I even get back on camera, you guys. So yeah, let's get a song for Divine Feminine, Father. Let's get a song and an angel of abundance and see what you wanna tell your masculine immediately. Don't matter. This is what you're fighting, Divine Feminine. Akon, nobody want to see us together, but it don't matter, no, because I got you. <laughs> you're still fighting for this, whether you like feel like it or not. I feel like Divine Feminine, you're ready to give up because it's 2024. Nothing's changed. Y'all are still in separation. What's happening here is what you want to say. But that's why your situation is to have the faith. Stop refusing to see that the outcome is love. 
Oh, thank you, Father. That's beautiful. The outcome is love. Let's get an Angel of Abundance card for you. Um, see what's going on with your finances here. For Divine Feminine today, let's get a financial tap in. Gratitude list. That's why your faith isn't increased, okay? Your gratitude. You have to be thankful for every little thing. Small, big, whatever. I was thankful this one. I was like, wow, you know, the sun is so beautiful today. I saw a hawk today, and hawks mean that your person is coming back. That's collective energy, okay? You guys, <laughs> it says counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you be more centered in your heart instead of fixated on your worries in your mind because that's what you're doing, okay? It says what and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing on gratitude, and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. So you have to make a gratitude list, Divine Feminine, because Father is blessing you whether you know it or not. This is coming in. That healing is already here. All right, what would you like to tell your Divine Masculine? What does Divine Feminine want to tell? Three of Swords. <laughs> I'm learning that separation is preparation for our union. And the Three of Swords is that healing energy, okay? You've been healing throughout this. You're learning that what? Separation is preparation. And that's all your person is doing is catching up. So while you've healed and gotten to a certain place, because remember, healing is a journey. It's not just the outcome of something. Now that you're on your spiritual healing journey and your person is getting on course, don't lose sight of the course, okay? This is beautiful today, okay? Thank you so much for your time. Let's go to the last video for today to get into the love messages, all right? So last video, next video, next message. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much.